faith is of the heart, but faith is released by the mouth. Say faith is of the heart and not the head. And faith is released by the mouth. So this is the principle here. If you believe, you must say it. Tell somebody, if you believe, you must say it. Now, if you believe and you don't say it, you never see it. If you believe, tell somebody, if you believe and you don't say it, you don't see it and you don't have it. Tell somebody. Now, now understand, I am in charge of this class. This is a class. I'm in charge of this class, and if you don't follow my instructions, I have the right to fail you and you won't walk. So if you want to pass and walk, you better listen to me. Amen. And I'm a hard teacher here, I'm telling you. Amen. Tell somebody, faith is of the heart, not of the head, and is released by the mouth. So if you believe, you must say it. You say what you believe. Other than that, you don't believe. He said, as it is written, they believe and they spoke. We also believe and therefore we speak. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, but with the mouth faith is released unto what? Salvation, which means deliverance. So you can have what you believe unless you say it with your mouth. Now Mark eleven twenty three. Mark eleven twenty three. Mark eleven twenty three. For verily I say unto you, mm -hmm. that whosoever shall say unto those whosoever man, shall say, whosoever shall be quiet, no sir. Whosoever shall be silent, no sir. Whosoever shall be cool, no. Whosoever shall say nothing, but whosoever shall say, whosoever unto, shall say, whosoever shall say unto this man. Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea uh -huh. and shall not doubt in his heart. And shall not doubt in his head. No. Mm, but where? In his heart. So faith is of the heart and not of the head. So you can have doubt in your mind, but as long as you have faith in your heart, you will have whatsoever you say. So you can believe in your heart, speak out of your heart, and be doubting in your head. But as long as there is faith in your heart and you speak the faith out of your heart with your mouth, you can doubt in your mind and you still have what you say because faith is of the heart and not of the head. Put your hands together and give him praise. Praise him, praise him. Put your hands together. Clap and say something. Say something. Go ahead. Yeah? Go ahead, Bishop. Start but again. shall verily. believe. But shall verily. believe. Verily. Start again. Verily, I say. For verily, I say unto you, uh -huh. that whosoever shall say unto this mountain. Is there a whosoever here? Mm. Turn to somebody and say, you are a whosoever, and I am a whosoever. <laughs> and tell somebody, whosoever means you. <laughs> yeah, you are whosoever. Go ahead. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain. Yes, sir. Be thou removed. And be thou cast into the sea, mm -hmm. and shall not doubt in his heart, mm -hmm. but shall believe that those things which he saith shall those come to pass. Those things which he saith. Those things which he's quiet about. No. Those things which he believes. No. Is that what he said? No. But those things which he saith. So believing is not enough because even the demons believe and tremble. So you got to go past belief. When you believe, you say it. When you believe, you declare it with your mouth. Tell somebody, say something. Go ahead. But believe it, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall those come to pass. Those things which he saith. How many times of saying do we have here? How many times? Look at it. How many times of saying? Whosoever shall say unto Three or four. Mm -hmm. Three times. Mm-hmm. How many times? Three times in one verse. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Say, 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 say. Tell somebody, say something, say something. Okay. So it's important that you say something. And you must understand how the principles work. In the beginning in Genesis, God said and God saw. God said and God saw. God said and God saw. 
God said and God saw. So you have to keep saying it till you see it. Yes. Tell somebody, keep saying it till you see it. Keep saying it till you see it. And then God moved from saying it to calling it. You get it? Yeah. He saw it, he said it, he saw it, and he called it. So let's run through some scriptures quickly. Come with me, quickly. To the book of Genesis, quickly. Come to Genesis. Chapter 1, verse 3, verse 6, verse 9, verse 11, verse 14, verse 20, verse 24, verse 26, verse 12, verse 10, verse 18, 21, 25, 31. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Mm -hmm. And God saw the light, that it was good. God said, let there be light. And there was light. So there was light because light just came. No. But there was light because God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God, no, he said, he saw. saw. Tell somebody, keep saying it till you see it. Go ahead. And God saw the light, that it was good. Uh -huh. And God divided the light from the darkness. Uh -huh. And God called the light day. God said, he saw, and he called. Yes, sir. Tell somebody, call it. Tell somebody, call it. Tell somebody, name it. Amen. You got to learn to say it, see it, call it, name it. Right. And God called the light day and the darkness he called God, night. God called. God called. Tell somebody, call the light. Call the light. Call the light. That was, it's a principle. Mm -hmm. God called the light and said, let there be what? Light. And there was light. Yes, sir. Tell somebody, you got to call the light. You got to call the light. So whatever you don't want, don't call it. Tell somebody, whatever you don't want, don't call it. Because what you call will come to pass. Yes, Say, I refuse to call anything. Contrary to the word of God concerning my life, I will not call it. I will call what God has said. Put your hands together. Say something. Okay, go ahead. Verse 6, and God said, let there be firmaments. Mm -hmm. God, verse 8, mm -hmm. And God called the firmament you see, heaven. God said and God called. Keep going. Verse 9. And God said, let there be waters. Let there be waters under the heaven and gather Do the Do you realize earth. that everything God said or called happened? And nothing happened. Nothing came until God said it or called it. Tell somebody, you have to say something. You have to say something. Tell somebody, you have to call it. You have to call it. And God called the dry land earth, that is verse 10, and the mm -hmm. greater, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. You see, said, call. And God saw that it was good. You get it? God said, call, saw, and it was good. Amen? Amen. Tell somebody, Say it, see it, call it. Put your hands together, say something. We are still on. Go ahead. Verse 11, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass and herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. Who and seed God, it himself said. And God said. And everything he said happened. Yes, Did sir. Did it happen? Yes, sir. Go ahead, look at Twelve. verse 12. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree So how did fruits. the earth, the Bible says, and the earth walk brought forth yes, sir. after God said. After God said. It means nothing happened until you say something. Mm -hmm. So clap your hands and say something. Say something. Say something. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I'll dwell in the house of the Lord. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord will satisfy me with long life and his salvation. You have to say the word. You got to keep saying it to see. Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse 12. And the earth brought forth grass and held yielding seed after his kind, mm -hmm. and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself mm -hmm. after his kind. And God saw and God, that it was good. And God 
What did he see? What he saw what he said. Yes, sir. So turn to somebody and say, what are you saying? You, what are you saying? And turn to somebody else and say, what have you been saying? <laughs> Verse 14, and God said, mm -hmm. let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven mm -hmm. to divide the day from the night and let mm -hmm. them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Mm -hmm. And then you come to verse 18. Mm -hmm. And the rule of, and to rule over the day and over the night and the, to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. God saw. God saw. He saw what? That it was, tell somebody, he saw what he what said. What he said. So tell somebody, keep saying it. Keep speaking the word. Till you see it. So you can't stop speaking the word until you see the word. It's a principle. It's a pattern. And that's why the Bible said death and life is in the power of the tongue. So if you don't like something, don't say it. Some of you, you just talk when you're upset, when you're offended, when you are hurt, you talk. But you got to be careful because you'll be speaking confessing something you don't like and because it's a pattern and a principle and a law, you have what you say. Mm. Say I renounce and I negate. Every negative word I have released into my atmosphere giving the adversary a legal ground to afflict me and exact on me and my loved ones. Say in the name of Jesus, right now by the blood of the covenant in the name of Jesus, I call for an immediate annulment of negative words spoken by me in the days of ignorance. I annul it right now as I put my hands together. Come on, somebody. Say something. Say something. I call for an annulment. I annul negative words, confession, things spoken by head by pain, by suffering, by anger, by affliction, by doubt, by unbelief, by arrogance, by fear, by pride, by insecurity of any kind, shape or form. I am all in the name of Jesus. Say yes.